right, so this is the Pobier. It's very similar in concept to the Dozer Trong. Uh, it's an electric fishing boat with a standard large frame. The only thing is that are very similar to an electric fishing boat. We have a generator, electric fishing box, but the electricity out of that electric fishing box is distributed to four quadrants. So we have our front quadrants here, quadrant one, quadrant two, three, and four. The anodes are, are different, and so on the front we just have these cable droppers, and whereas in the back we have these hemispheres. So the, as the electricity comes out of the out of the system, it is distributed to those four zones, with approximately 60% of your amps going to the front, 40% going to the back. So if you have, and we'll have this on your on your little handout. So if you have a conductivity of around 700 microsiemens, which is, I think might be what we are testing here today, approximately, then our whole system is going to get 73 amps. And that's distributed. So only right here, you're actually only getting 20 amps, so approximately 20 amps. So it's not 72 amps in one place. It's distributed throughout the whole thing. Uh, so, so the front is our is our capture quadrant. So the fish are immobilized there, and then they drift back. The uh, hemisphere is our it holds the fish in the net. We actually see when the fish drift back into the net, you can see them come and try to challenge this, but that. That hemisphere anode holds them in. Uh, so we operate this with three people on the crew. We have a driver and an operator on the box, and then we have one person who deploys and retrieves the net. And so as they go underway, the driver is using a sonar, and we have here our Hummingbird 360, which gives a view to the front as well as the whole entire all around you, so you can actually see any hazards that might be coming towards you, or you might be driving towards, I guess I should say. Uh, the, they are in communication with the box operator who can who can stop or move the these frames if need be. Um, and then, yeah, so, so right now we have the frames. They are actually higher than higher than we maybe usually fish, they are up on the gantry, and so they would only be fishing three feet. But when we get into the water, they'll deploy the frames all the way down to fish five feet deep, um, and then they can actually maneuver those frames to fish deeper. But our standard is to just fish them at that five feet in depth. Just as with the dozer trawl, we go about five miles per hour, or I'm sorry, five miles, three miles per hour, correction, three, we go three. Um, and yeah, our, our standard transects are, uh, well, depending on our objective, our standard transects are typically five minutes. However, to, if we're going for some other purpose, we can extend that or change it based on what we're going for. Um, we have two different size, we have two different nets on this boat right now. And the mesh size is the difference. So on this over here, we have a larger mesh net, uh, which is typically used when we're targeting our larger fish. It is uh, approximately two inches, two inch bar mesh in the front, and then it reduces to about an inch and a quarter in the cod. Whereas on the other side, we consider that our, our more fish community uh, sampling, or demographics sampling, and so it has, a, I think it's an inch mesh in the front, reducing to a smaller mesh. It matches with the what the dozer trawl has. It's knotless. And it's knotless. Yeah, on that side it's a knotless material. Um, and then on this side it is dyneema reducing to the nylon. Uh, one thing that we have modified, put on some modifications on this boat to deal with uh, heavy loads of fish when we're doing targeted sampling. And so uh, the crew is going to show you here how we have developed a winch system. So these nets, uh, we have had anywhere from two to 400 fish in them. So they can handle a very heavy load. And when that happens, you, you want to save your crew, you want to save your labor if you're working up that many fish. And so we have a winch system. Um, we have one off the top and then we have 
another one out the back if you want to, if you're interested in coming over here and watching this a little bit more, feel free to. And then, and then it's, you're working in tandem with each other to lift the net up. And when it's heavy and full of fish, it's a little bit different. But then you can easily pull the net in to the boat. And then we can just pull that cod and the fish fall into the boat. Any questions? How many pounds will fit that cod that you're lifting with the fish? Roughly, how many fish? 2,000? Per, per cod? Yeah. So there's been times where we've had to take three loads. So a cod full, bring it in the boat, dump it. Do that two more times, and there's approximately 80 fish in there. So, so yeah, so 400. 400. Approximately 400. Math on the spot, thanks. Well, for load, 500 per load is about 2,000 pounds, like you said. Yeah. And a cod is about right. Tell me about breakaway features. Yeah. So our breakaways on this are actually up here. Brian, do you want to go in there and clean that? Yeah, we basically just have our breakaway here. We do four wraps. We've experimented. We've done lots. We've done more. Um, but you got this catch right here. We got the center carabiner that everything connects to. And this, this is our catch right here. And Zach will pull it out and show you. We set so the, the idea is this will break away on the on the sag. We'll, so we'll give you a little buffer. The uh, operator can put it in neutral for first. Okay, we don't want it going all the way back. So then your frame is up against your boat, your net gets in your motor, and then you're, that's, that's dangerous. So these pull out and it gives us a little room and this will be connected to here, the extension on it. These two would be connected to that right there. And it just so it doesn't go all the way to the motor. So it saves your frames and your net. And then you can retrieve your frame with that, with that laser light. Other questions? We do break wood, you know, when we're trying to fish certain areas. So I talked about using the winch system, and we said we can hold up to uh, 2,000 pounds in a net approximately. So when we have used this for removal efforts, targeted removal efforts, so that is literally going out and using our sonar, hydroacoustics information, telemetry information, everything we can to inform where to fish. Uh, then we put our nets down and do targeted sam targeted capture of these fish and this boat alone with or this boat with a tender boat has uh, pulled in at max 10, 10 tons a day in one day now that fluctuates depending on your fishing and where you're at and um, but two to ten tons in a one day is capable yeah the bat oh that's uh two uh, tight and loosen our boots. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. As many of you probably know from using electric fishing boats, those those nuts get a little bit uh, loose or hard to tighten sometimes, right? Yeah. We have lights on the boat. Uh, we have done some night fishing with this equipment when it is, I mean, number one, as long as it's going to be safe. Uh, but we have done night fishing with them. In fact, in uh, one of our, in Creek Four Lake, where we had the unified method uh, talk, with this boat we did pre and post assessment of that event. And our uh, protocol that we came up with was actually to do sampling two hour, three hours before sunset to two hours after. Or maybe it was three to three. Uh, the other way around, sorry. Two hours before sunset to three hours after, so we could catch the crepuscular period. And, uh, and so we did uh, 30 transects over two nights in that time period, uh, 35 minute transects with this boat. And we were able to get relative abundance conditions um, and to see a change in that relative abundance pre and post event.